YouTube, what's up? It's Magnus. Today we are, well, we've already done it. We've taken the dash out of the donor car and you see it's pretty much gutted. I got a few more things to do. Um, this is not a step-by-step -step video on how to take the dash out of 3000 GT first generation. Um, I'm gonna link videos in my description to for Joe. Joe uh, has a channel and a forum, uh, 3000 GT GTO restoration. Uh, if you have one of these cars or need more information about doing uh, how to step by step, he is your guy. Um, he has two videos up, uh, they're almost an hour piece, and it shows you step by step what you need to do to take the dash out. What I'm here today for is to give you some pointers about how things to look out for and things that will make it a little easier for you. All right, first thing is before you even get started trying to disassemble the dash, I will go ahead and take these two 12 millimeter bolts out that are on the brace support behind the dash and go ahead and drop your stern wheel down because you can't take the dash out with the stern wheel up. Um, also, this collar, if you have a 90 to 93 uh, drive by wire, you're gonna have to take this collar off. I'm gonna show you where it goes. This collar goes in here uh, behind the instrument cluster and it holds the speedo cable. Now, there aren't many videos that show you how to take this off. I, it kind of stuck me for a while, but I figured it out. You basically, when it's in there, you have to take a screwdriver and pry these tabs. And then you get a sc screwdriver up under it and then pry it out and it comes out. Because you, with all the bolts, take a tuck loose, all your plugs that stay with the dash when you take those loose, this is gonna stop you from taking the dash out. It's gonna stop you. And if you aren't patient, you will lose your shit trying to figure out how to get this collar out. But this, like I said, take a screwdriver. If you get in behind it, you can get it pried out. Once it starts coming, work the other side and it'll come out. And then you see how it's got a notch. Now this notch goes around the collar of the Speedo. And you have to take it off and then it comes out. Um, that hole there and that hole right there in the corner, um, those are the holes that for the bolts that are hidden underneath the dash speakers. You have to take those out. Okay, that peg in the middle, it, it sits, it kind of holds the dash in place when it's bolted down. It's just, just right there to support the dash. Um, you see the bolts here. Those were behind the gauge cluster. Those have to come out. Um, but oh, also, one more thing too. This knee panel, it stays in the car. And there are two bolts that you have to access. One's in here, and one's in here, behind the other vent. See that tab? You have to take that loose in order to free the dash from this bracket here. And that comes out too. Um, trying to see, is there anything else? Um, but that's basically it. The main thing was that collar, get it off that speedo cable um, because it, it will, it'll stop you. I'm telling you, it, it, I, 20 years I've been working on cars and I was like, what the hell is going on with this thing? It didn't make sense to me, <laughs> but I figured it out and I got it. But just keep that in mind when you're gonna do this job because you got to, you got to deal with that. That's, that's something special right there, buddy. Okay, um, like I said, the dash is out. And I told you, the dash in Apex, if you've been following the videos, it's, it's cracked all through here. It's messed up. But this dash right here is really nice. Uh, the vents are broken on there, but I'm gonna replace the vents. I'm probably gonna get the aluminum ones from 3SX. Um, but like I may have to do some repair it's starting to bubble a little bit 
So we can fix that. That's no big deal. This this dash looks wonderful in comparison to the one that's in the car uh, in Apex. So uh, matter of fact, I'll go ahead and show you that dash now. Okay, this is the dash that's in my car. It's it's ruined. I don't know if you can see that. It is busted up. But yeah, it, it, it's it's ruined. I mean, that split goes all the way to the front. I mean, it, it's, it's destroyed and um, really ruins the whole inside of the car because the rest of the car looks pretty nice now for all the work I've done. But um, this is gonna go, um, I'm gonna have to actually, because that car is mostly disassembled and I've disassembled even more robbing parts, but I'm gonna have to actually step by step and tear this one down just so I can put that one back in here. Um, so like I said, that's it guys. Just wanted to give you a warning basically about what to look forward to when you're taking a dash out. It's not that bad of a job finding all the bolts and you know, that's really no big deal. Um, and like I said, you got the ones on the bottom too, right here you have to get. Uh, but it, it's not really a big deal, but it's just the worst part of this was taking that plastic collar for the Speedo. That was, I probably could have had it done like an hour ago, but that, that shut me down, but I, I got it out. Uh, but, <laughs> and this thing, I got to do it all over again when I tear the dash out Apex, but it's all good. We got some knowledge now, we can move forward. Uh, but that's it guys. I've been Magnus. Uh, enjoy uh, the rest of your weekend. Happy 4th of July. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.